Good morning. Let's talk about what we're seeing in the Middle Colonies painting. So if you remember, the Middle Colonies include New York, New Jersey, Delaware, um, Pennsylvania. And if you look at those colonies, we started to see more of religious tolerance and religious freedom. Remember that William Penn left and took that took Pennsylvania as a place for the Quakers to find some religious freedom. We saw that in New Jersey that the people started to look at a representative government and religious tolerance for anyone who wanted to practice different religions. Now again, remember these ideas are just in their beginning phase. This is not the way we see it now where you're allowed to practice any religion you want to. However, it was the beginning of the colonists understanding that people had a right to think the way they wanted to think and they um, were given those freedoms just a little as they started in New Jersey, in New York, um, and Pennsylvania, sort of remembering the Pennsylvanias were more focused on the Quakers. So what does that have to do with our painting here today? Look at the painting that you see. I'm looking at it and it looks like, maybe this is Delaware, um, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Um, but I see some men in, in formal hats. Um, they have a very long document. Um, I'm looking at the Native Americans that are there. Um, I see the two men that are standing before the Native Americans. Um, and they're, they're almost on their knees, like bowing, sort of a sign of respect to those Native Americans. Um, I'm looking at, perhaps this is a trading. Um, looks like they're men, those men are on their knees presenting a roll of cloth. Um, it may be, uh, I see a, another Native American holding that roll of cloth, a blue roll of cloth. Um, I'm looking at, um, there's also some um, women here with the Native Americans uh, that you, at least that's the way it appears, right? They don't have the same headdresses on. Um, you know, th these men that look like they're Native Americans are very at peace, um, are comfortable. They're not like someone sitting down is not a p person who's ready to attack. Um, so, our main idea that I said in this painting is this kind of this peace and tolerance and understanding of the people who are um, the colonists and the Native Americans. Um, they look like this, maybe this is some type of peace treaty, maybe this is some type of government they want their voice in. The idea is that when you look at this painting and you saw see that the middle colonies um, they're not fighting the Native Americans. They're showing that tolerance that they've come to look for for their religion. And so in this painting, I see two groups of, of um, men, mostly, that are very peaceful. There's no art, this, you know, I see them standing here. They're very, they look very comfortable. These are men of what I would say of some importance. There's a long, important document that um, they're holding and almost offering to these, to these uh, Native Americans. Um, they're offering some type of peace treaty or some type of peace offering perhaps with the cloth. Um, you know, I see the, the Native Americans, they've let them into their village. You can see this kind of structure in the background. Um, it's not, they're, they're certainly not in the Native Americans' homes or their tribe area. They're definitely into the, the, the town of the colonists with this structure in the background. Um, it looks like there are boxes and, and things here on the side of maybe some, something from the cargo ships that they're looking at. So... Certainly there's a, a scenario here where the Native Americans and the colonists are 
are working together. They're communicating. Um, they're not, they're sisters and there's no fighting whatsoever. In fact, that one man that has some type of weapon um, here in the Native American's hand is actually in on the ground. Um, so there's definitely not a vision here of, of arguing or, or harsh um, or people on, on the ready to attack. Um, so looking at this painting, using all those things that I just mentioned, give three details in your assignment for Mrs. Kerrigan that explain, not again, the details need to come from the painting. So what do you see in the painting that supports the idea that the Native Americans and the colonists were not at war or not arguing or there wasn't this friction between them? What items can you point out in here that support that? All right, boys and girls, that's your assignment for today. Good luck and reach out.